want to win, you know, like there's, we got a lot of older guys and I think that especially the longer you play, you realize that the most important thing is, is winning, right? Like obviously like development is important, but like winning cures all and it's way funner to, to, to be here over the course of six months when you're winning, winning ball games, you know? You did a lot of good things last year. Um, I won't read back your stats. What, are, what, what stands out the most to what you were able to do good last season? Uh, I thought defensively I had my best year. Um, and that's something that I take pride in over there. Like I love trying to pick, my, pick the teammates up, picking the ball and just being out, not being a, you know, a threat over there. I, I want to be able to you know, feel my position well and, and pick the guys up. Because if I can pick the ball, it makes everybody better saves errors, they feel comfortable throwing it. And if you can pick it, they actually throw less balls bad because they don't feel like they got to throw it perfect. And I think that was something that, you know, I was happy with. And then, you know, the I'd say really the second half of the season offensively was good. I felt like I made the, the right adjustments and um, hit the way I know I can hit. I'm just trying to keep that going now. So you had a full season last year here in AAA. Now you're back this year, which means you're that much closer to that next level. How much more pressure, if any, do you put on yourself to perform at a level where you don't want them to, to even have to make that decision that they know that you're, you're ready to go up at the next level? I feel like it's less, you know, like uh, at least with me, I've had the tendency to like maybe get to the next level and have to learn something. And then usually when I come back, it's like easier. Same thing happened in Reading. Um, when I got moved up the first time, I took my lumps. And then the, the year after, it was like I knew what to expect coming in. I had a good plan and I was able to execute, right? And that's what I'm hoping to do this year too. Like I, last year I took my lumps offensively. You know, I've uh, started to figure it out towards the end. I'm hoping that I can just shorten that curve and, and you know, go on the, the upswing this whole year. One of the things you were able to tell us a couple of times last year is your ability to kind of hit away from that shift and hit the opposite way. Just put it in layman's terms. What do you, what do you look to do at the plate when you see that shift come and you do want to push it in the other direction? Well, it depends on the situation, right? Um, I think, uh, you know, if we need a base runner, say we're down a couple runs, two, three runs, like a home run isn't always the best thing. You need base runners, you know what I mean? Obviously you want to score the run, but um, you know, and you can't hit a home run every time, right? So if, if you have the ability to shoot a ball the other way sometime or, or even push one over there, um, I think that just kind of gets the offense going a little bit. Obviously with the shift, I don't want to take away from what I do best, which is, you know, pulling the ball in the air. So there's going to be times you'll see like, you know, with runners on, even though they got the big shift on, you know, maybe I do try to do what I do and, and drive the ball, you know, pull side. And sometimes when you just let the ball get deep, you hit it too low and that happens. But like, you know, I have the ability to take the ball to the yard and that's something I don't want to be taken away mentally, you know, with my approach.